Hi everyone, welcome to the Droid G channel. Android phone keeps crashing up is a problem that plagues many Android users. You rely on your phone to get you through the day, from checking your calendar and email to taking pictures and making phone calls. But when your phone keeps crashing, it can bring your life to a standstill, a frustrating problem that's relatively common. You don't even know what is causing the problem. The good news is that not all hope is lost as various solutions can help get your Android phone back up and running. The following methods are applicable to mobile phone models including Samsung, Huawei, Xiaomi, OnePlus, Vivo, Oppo, Sony, LG, HTC. Please watch this video patiently, I believe it will solve your problem for you. First, when your phone crashes when I plug in the charger. Voicemail app keeps crashing. Apps crash after a certain patch. Android phone keeps crashing after suspending a certain patch. The crash occurs when rotating on the now playing screen. Settings apps crashes. Android. Phone crashing and restarting phone. Please follow me to understand the possible causes of the above problems. Second, why does your Android phone keep crashing? If your Android phone keeps crashing or freezing, it's usually because you're running out of space or have too many apps running at the same time. Other causes of Android phone crashes include unstable Wi-Fi connections or older versions of apps that are not updated. Device overheats when your device overheats, it shuts down to prevent damage. An application is causing the problem. Not enough storage space left. There is a problem with some piece of hardware. Third, how to fix Android phone keeps crashing. Please try all of the following methods, I hope they can help you. Method 1 is to make sure the Android operating system is the latest version. Mobile phones occasionally release version updates that introduce new features and protect you from the latest security threats. When it comes to your mobile device crashing and rebooting, an OS update might just be all it takes. Please open your phone settings, find and click software update in the phone settings interface. Your device will check for available updates. If an update is available for your device, you will be asked to download and install it. Please install the latest version of the software at this time. After the update is complete, try charging your phone again. If no updates are available, your device will display your software is up to date. Method 2 is to check storage space and clean up space as needed. On most phones, you can check available storage in the settings app. Settings may vary from phone to phone. Your phone may experience problems when less than 10% of the available storage space is available. Please go to click on the settings of the Android phone, and after entering the settings interface, please find the storage option to check how much storage space is available. If storage space is low, you may need to delete some files, unused apps and clean up junk. Some phones automatically have a free space button, you can click this button without worry. Method 3 is to force restart your device. When your Android apps freeze and crash, usually just restarting your phone will fix the problem. Depending on the device, the forced restart button may be different. Please first determine the key combination of your device. The combination key on my Samsung phone is the power button and the volume down button. Please press and hold the combination key of your Android phone for 10 to 15 seconds. When you see the brand logo appear on the phone screen, you can let go, and your Android phone will be forced to restart. If the restart is successful, your device will return to the phone home screen. Method 4 is to force stop the application. Problematic apps can freeze and keep your phone crashing. Follow the steps below to identify potentially problematic applications. First open the settings of the Android phone, find the Apps tab, click the Apps tab and find the application that takes up a lot of memory, click the application to enter the details interface of the application, and then click the force stop button on the interface. Method 5 is to see if an application is causing the problem. The fastest way to check if an app is causing Android phone keeps crashing is to run the phone in safe mode. Safe mode uses your phone in its original interface without third-party apps. Follow the steps below to enter safe mode. Press and hold the power key until the shutdown screen appears. On the shutdown screen, tap and hold the shutdown icon until the screen displays the safe mode option. After safe mode appears, please tap safe mode, and your phone will restart to return to the main screen in safe mode. Use it normally for 30 minutes in safe mode, and check whether phone keeps crashing still occurs during the period. Method 6 is to restore factory settings. Assuming the problem persists in safe mode, consider advanced troubleshooting. This includes resetting your phone to factory settings. Connect your phone to your computer. Then, make sure your phone is turned off and wait at least 30 seconds. Next, press the volume up button and the power button at the same time until you see the recovery mode screen. You can let go while seeing the recovery mode screen. From the Android recovery screen, select wipe data slash factory reset using the volume buttons, and press the power button to confirm. Then, use the volume buttons to select factory reset and use the volume buttons to select the yes option to confirm. This will trigger the reset process, which should only take 2-3 to three seconds to complete. Once done, it will take you back to the recovery mode interface. Use the power button to select the reboot system now option. Finally, your phone will turn on and reboot to the home screen. 
Some Android phones that have been factory reset require the Android phone to be reactivated. Please follow the prompts to reactivate. Method 7 is to find a professional for help. If you have tried all of the above methods and none of them work, there may be a problem with your device itself. Please find the nearest official authorized service center according to your Android device model. Let them help you check what is causing your Android phone keeps crashing and let them fix it. That's all for today's video. If you think this video is helpful to you and think we did a good job, please like, share and tell us which method helped you solve the problem in the comment area. At the same time, if you think there is room for improvement, you can also express your views and suggestions in the message area. Thanks. Good luck.